Okay. Oh, kia ora everyone, I'm Sandra Dixon and I'm the project manager at Hōhau Te Ranga Kahupura Out of Violence. Kia ora, I'm Elizabeth Kerekere and I'm on the advisory group for Hōhau Te Ranga Kahupura Outing Violence. Sandra and Elizabeth, Hōhau Te Ranga Outing Violence. What is the meaning behind the name? Just to talk a bit about the the name of our of our group and the project. Well, Te Rongo is a traditional Māori concept. It's around cultivating peace and peaceful relationships. So when we wanted to look at this project, there's obviously ongoing issues that need to be addressed, uh, but we also wanted to look at it in a strength-based, kaupapa Māori way, treaty-based model that uh, looks at what, what needs to happen inside our communities and inside society to support healthy um, safe relationships. Why is this important? There's been a number of pieces of work and a number of kinds of community activity over the last few years in New Zealand with queer communities, um, all of which have kind of pointed to people wanting to have these kinds of conversations. The fact is that the ways people talk about partner and sexual violence at the moment often leave rainbow people and rainbow relationships out. And I guess this project for me, the outing violence part of this project for me, is about finding ways to talk about those things and to acknowledge that they're not OK and to acknowledge that we don't want them in our rainbow communities. I went to talk to It's Not OK, and really that was about saying, hey, this is a whole area of work that isn't happening at the moment. Um, we would like to do something about it. I believe the queer community would like to do something about it, and it needs to come from us. I talked to a whole bunch of people around the country, and... Pretty much everyone had said, yep, we're ready to have these conversations. We need to. It's scary. It's hard. Um, we get a hard time about our relationships anyway from the rest of the world. So we need to find ways of talking about this that don't make us feel stink or pathologise us. But we need to have these conversations because otherwise we're leaving people that are experiencing violence alone. And that's not OK. Tell us about the work that you're doing. So the project has three parts to it. Number one has been the website, which is up and running, that contains a lot of fact sheets uh, around this, this kaupapa, around this issue. And the second stage is a survey, which is available on the website that we encourage everybody to go and fill out. Uh, the third part, which we're in, about to embark on, is our national tour. <laughs> 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 and it's uh, starting in Dunedin, uh, Christchurch and Nelson, and then we're moving up to the North Island. And we have uh, we're meeting with many, many organisations and having open forums around the country, so that we can actually meet with communities and talk about these issues in a really broad way. And an important thing for me again is looking at the the broader context in which uh, violence happens. Violence is always about power. And if we think about how violence plays out in, inside the rainbow community, we've got to think about the power around us. We've got to think about homophobia and biphobia and trans transphobia. We've got to think about racism. We've got to think about what happens when some kinds of bodies aren't valued the same ways as other kinds of bodies. Um, and... All of those conversations need to be part of how we talk about building communities that don't have violence in them, that are respectful and equity-based and justice-based. And I'm looking forward to having those conversations too. How can we get involved? So I guess if you're interested in being part of this conversation about how we build communities free of violence, um, come and check out our website first thing. Have a look at all the resources there. And as Elizabeth said before, very importantly, there's a survey that we would really appreciate people taking the time to complete. Um, unless we have information about what people need and what's happening for people at the moment, it's really hard to talk about how we build better, better structures, better supports, etc. So we'd love it if you'd, if you'd answer that. Um, and there's also the chance there to find out where our community, who we are, and come and meet us. And you want to meet us, right? <laughs>